So if you have a 95 through 98 Acura 2.5 TL and you are unworthy to assume the name of Shade Tree Mechanic, then this video is for you if you're trying to time it. So uh, I accidentally pulled my pen out. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to get some ugly comments over it. But yeah, I accidentally, uh, well, I didn't even accidentally, I pulled it out going, oh, well, I got to pull that out anyway. And then I started turning the, uh, turning the, the crank and then I realized that my cam wasn't turning. So then I, uh, I backed it off and, uh, I got it. Uh, I didn't have any damage. Okay. So what threw me off about this is if you're looking at it from this angle, your timing marks are here and here and this up needs to be off kind of cocked to the side um, if you on camera it comes out real nice and easy because the timing marks are supposed to be lined up with the head so right right behind here so timing mark timing mark head timing mark head so still seems a little bit off I mean point of view I guess see it well that's right on so that's what was throwing me off because I was looking at from here I was like oh that doesn't line up um, the other thing that was throwing me off is in the book the Chilton manual it's got this thing okay well look for the up mark and it's got the up mark tilted Kind of towards the right or whatnot you got your top dead center marks here and i was just like man that's you know i was thinking of directional but if this thing was turned the way the engine was turned if the picture was turned like that then unshade shade tree mechanics like me would uh, would get it so i hope to save you some time um and then on this uh this other figure here this is another thing same deal it's tilted like this. That's where you'll get your your key lining up. And over, I went to O'Reilly and they actually printed me this out. And theirs is like dummy proof. It shows the engine, how it's tilted. And it's got the key facing that way and up mark facing that way. And I was like, okay. Well, you know, I never claimed to be a bright one. I just didn't want to put this thing together not knowing. So here's your... Here's what you're looking for down here at the key, and I had to actually do this on camera and re replay the video to make sure that I had it. Uh, I don't even know if that's coming up. I'm trying to focus. Yeah, okay, there we go. You got your key. Got your key right there. You got you know the dot there, so that that lines up the crank with your uh, timing belt drive pulley and then the little itty bitty mark back here is all three of those marks need to line up and then should be good to go as long as that's right there as long as your cam is right here pretty sure you're good to go because this is top dead center I even put a, a dowel rod in here and I'll twist it for you to show you it's top dead center so I'm gonna try to back it off a little bit I didn't put a lot of marks on it I just kind of felt it yeah, all right all right let's all right so it's going down It, it all lines up. It may not now, but I'm ready to put this thing back together. I'm tired of messing with it. I'm aborting my timing belt for now. It's got 192,000 miles on it. I just want to make sure that the timing belt looks good. I was prepared to do the whole timing belt, but it took me 
from Friday night to Sunday afternoon, I had I was putting heat on this thing, uh, impact wrench, 700 foot pound impact wrench, um, heat impact wrench, heat impact wrench, and finally I did the WD-40. Soaked it overnight. And got up the next day and uh, put that that uh, impact wrench on it. Still didn't do anything, and finally I just and I had broken the pulley. I mean, this was that that tool that that you get from O'Reilly to hold the pulley in place. This guy. This thing just obliterated. I had so much force on it. But after I put the um, the WD-40 on it, <laughs> and I couldn't really do much with it, so that's when I got the impact. Um, I actually wedged a three-quarter inch wrench in there and and stabbed it to the to the frame or subframe or whatever you want to call it. And then I put my breaker bar back on it, half-inch breaker bar and a and a cheater pipe, and was able to break it loose. So moral of the story is soak it down to a WD-40, use breaker bar, and it should work. Um, that's what I should have done to begin with so anyway I hope this helps you time your 95 through 98 this is a 96 model um, Acura 2.5 TL and um, so that's it man